Hi guys, this is Finn and welcome to another Draws Me video. Today I'm going to show you the process of this background that I made. To start, I used some references, uh, both from artists and from real life, and you can see them on screen. I have much more on my Pinterest, but this is how I set up my mood for the background and it helps me get started and have ideas for more diverse objects or to feel like the room is lived in. So first I started sketching um, on my sketchbook and then I took the sketch and imported it in Procreate and I added way more details. Um, I spent a lot of time on the sketch to make sure uh, the line art part was not too uh, exhausting because I hate doing line art and um, it takes so long and but um, you have to plan ahead like uh, I really take a long time to set up all the details um, to make all of the decisions in the sketch to like um, so like when I line I'm not thinking too much, <laughs> like uh, I can watch a movie on the side and just do my line out without thinking about everything again. For the line art, I tried to take inspiration from Steven Universe backgrounds as showed in my references at the beginning. Um, I love how they draw backgrounds in Steering Universe because they have such a clear line and it's not too messy and the colors are just amazing but the line up as well is so precise and I don't know, I just love the vibe so I wanted to challenge myself a little bit and draw something in the in similar or like in the same kind of style. Um, so for this part I try to follow my sketch as much as possible and um, just <laughs> suffer for like a lot of time but um, in the end I think I really like the results so it was worth it. <laughs> I don't know about you guys, but uh, I feel like uh, every week uh, I have a new fixation, like a new thing or a new topic I'm obsessed about. And <laughs> lately it's been Hunger Games. I've been obsessed with Hunger Games. Uh, uh, it's probably because I've been at my parents' house and I needed to find something to do and I had the books on hand, so I reread them. And oh boy, <laughs> um, it was so cool to reread them for the first time in a long time. Like, I think the first time I reread them was um, when I was a teen. And now I've been only rewatching the movies for years and I forgot so many things. Like, oh my god, um, I love the books much more than the movies now. Uh, <laughs> um, just because um, in the book, Katniss has so many, she has like so many emotions, but in the movie she's like, you feel like she has no emotions at all, like she's not expressing anything, she has always, always has like the same expression on her face, but in the book um, she's constantly thinking about everything like she's thinking the same thing over and over she's stressed out she's scared um she's confused and i get why in the movie um she's not like that because it's accurate like in the book she's only thinking that's the thing like she's not showing emotions so she's very stressed out but on the inside and on the outside she's like this super uh, controlled girl and uh, <laughs> um, so in the movie of course um, they're only showing the super like the non-emotional side of her because you cannot hear what she's thinking um, but 
that's what is missing, I think, because what makes Katniss such um, interesting characters to me is what's going on in her head. Like, um, she's super complex and that's what makes her relatable. Like, I do not find her relatable in the movie, like, not as much as in the books. But um, anyway, um, since I liked Katniss in the books way better, um, I had a way better time reading them. And um, I also enjoyed like uh, the whole um, love triangle that is not really a love triangle because in the movie, uh, they're like really playing the card of the love triangle. But in the books, like in the first pages, um, she's clearly talking about one of the love interests um like she says um oh he's such a brother to me like uh, i will never be able to love him and so in the first pages you already know who she's going to choose at the end and it's not him <laughs> uh, so it's not a real love triangle but it's still interesting to read about um like um and oh my god like one of the love interests uh is called Peter and um I only realized recently that he's called Peter because of Peter Bread like because it's a, in the beginning uh he gives um Katniss bread and he is um a son of a baker or something and I was like oh my god like this is so dumb like he's literally his name is the name of bread um so i never noticed um so yeah my my life is changed now um but uh <laughs> so many you know when you when you love something and you reread them um a long time after a long time it's so funny because you forget so many things um i was scared at first because i was I was so into Hunger Games when I was like 12 that um, I thought that now I will no not love it as much, you know, uh, since time has passed, but it's really cool, like super interesting. And um, I don't know if you guys have any books that you loved reading when you were, were like younger or a teen, but I really encourage you to, you know, um, give them a second chance because even if like you end up not loving it as much as you did um, it is such a nostalgic experience and uh, it's really fun to you know it brings back some nice memories so yeah uh, Hunger Games is cool um, <laughs> I was so into it I even took archery classes because of this book for two years. That's how invested I was. Um, so yeah, when I love something, I love something. Uh, <laughs> I'm not like, um, I'm not, I'm, yeah. Anyways, I'm not going to bore you anymore about Hunger Games. I'm gonna let you watch me draw peacefully. Um, <laughs> let me know in the comments if you uh, remember this thing uh, or if you ever watch the movies or the books and if you like them or not
So now I'm doing the flats. I'm basically coloring everything in a weird color. <laughs> um, just so I can focus on filling everything out and not leaving any blank space. And then I'm gonna, you know, uh, choose the real colors. Like I'm not gonna let them like this. Um, so this is a, quite a relaxing process um, since I do not have to think too much about what color I use. I just have to fill um, shapes. <laughs> uh, as you can see, I used um, Clip Studio Paint to, to do them because um, Procreate is not as good as Clip Studio for that. Like on Procreate, whenever I want to fill a shape, it's always messy and you have lots of little white dots or I don't know, it's not it's not perfect, so I switched to my computer for that and thank god because otherwise I, I think I would have you know it would have took me way longer. <laughs> so um yeah, uh, this is quite painful to watch uh, because the colors are so weird and ugly, but I promise it will get better. <laughs> but um, I'm gonna let you listen to some music and I'll get back to you for the final colors. So, hello again, um, I am choosing the final colors now, um, first I choose somewhat, some colors that I like and I think go together well, and then I do the shadows and then the lighting, and in between each steps I always have a color layer on top that is like in black so I can see the values of my colors. Uh, it's very important because if you have two similar values, um, it's not gonna look good. So I always make sure to have like this 
layer on top of everything to put my drawing in black and white and be able to check the values um, efficiently. Um, I don't know if you can see it well uh, with the time lapse. At, I think it's too fast when I switch to this black and white layer, but this is a good tip. Like this is so useful, <laughs> especially when you have so many objects like in this illustration. Um, but yeah, uh, for for the shadows and the light, I uh, it's not too complicated. I did the shadows in mult multiply and the lighting in um, add mode, I think. And um, yeah, uh, I wanted a kind of chill mood, and I wanted the um, little uh, lights to be the main light source, not the outside. Uh, and I think it turned out pretty cozy uh, <laughs> and then I then I wanted to have a more um, night uh, setting but I think it turned out uh, too purple uh, I forgot to record when I um, when I s tried different color schemes but um, you can see them on screen right now um, the night one is a bit too purple for me but I love uh, the second one it's more of a sunny day outside and it's very bright in the room and I don't know, I love the vibe. Uh, I think it's my favorite one of all three, uh, all of the three I made. Um, I don't know what you guys think, but um, yes, um, I'm glad I finished this background because it took me so long. And uh, I think I'm gonna draw some more stuff in this universe and I'll let you, maybe I'll show it to you on Instagram or on TikTok or maybe on YouTube again. Uh, I hope you enjoyed uh, watching my process. I hope you enjoyed um, spending some time with me. I hope I, I, I hope it was interesting and I'll see you guys next time. Thank you so much for watching. Bye bye.